The country of Turkey has just made an entrance, and it's loud. Stepping into the world of technology and robotics, the country has just splurged a whopping sum of $10 billion on their very first Turkish humanoid robot factory. And you can say the robots from these factories aren't like any random one. They are humanoid robots of well-advanced technology, almost on par with the capabilities of humans. With them already shocking the labor sector of Turkey, one can only imagine what are the future expectations from these robots, and how are they going to affect the country. Stick around. It's going to be an interesting ride with machines. The brains behind the factory. The country of Turkey is one of those many countries out there that only very few have ever imagined will make a stand in global technology and robotics. However, it has done just that. They have not only proved us wrong by starting a robot factory, but they have splurged quite a hefty amount to show their willingness to move into the industry. As a matter of fact, for over a decade now, the country has been playing behind the scenes compared to the big dogs like China, Japan, and the United States. The Turkish government has been working towards the project by investing heavily in the infrastructure that makes the projects like this a reality. We are talking about establishment of tech hubs such as Technopark Istanbul, the Bilkent Cyberpark, Yildiz Technopark, and a couple of others. Together, these establishments have combined to serve as hotbeds for innovation, leading to this very time, the time of the Turkish humanoid robots. As exciting as this era sounds, the big question here is, who is behind this humanoid robot factory business? Well, the brains behind the project are Özgür Akın, founder of the biggest software company in Turkey, Akinsoft, and now founder of Akin Robot, the company in charge of the production of the humanoid robot in the country. It might interest you to know that the humanoid robot project goes way back to 2009. It was during that time that Akin started R&D activities on humanoid robots. At the time, you can say Aiken Robotics didn't really exist. Instead, the humanoid robotics department was part of Akinsoft. When he first took that leap into the world of robotics, he developed the country's first humanoid robot prototype, the two-legged Akinsi series, the Agricultural Robots PNCR series, the Hostess series Mini ADA, the Service Robot ADA series, and the Field Robot Aerat series. And guess what? The famous Caddy Maram Cafe and Robotics application, where you see humanoid robots serve coffee, Aiken has long been behind it. There's no doubt that Aiken Robotics was the precipice of Aiken's career, but it doesn't mean that he hasn't been reaching several milestones in the past. The people of Turkey and the world got to see the extent of Aiken's work in humanoid robotics when he opened the world's first humanoid robot museum in Istanbul. In there, he displayed all of the works, prototypes, and every other thing relating to the field of robotic technologies from 2009. Today, the Turkish people don't only get to see these pieces of sophisticated tech behind a show glass. They get to live with them, feel them, and communicate with them. In summary, it's a new dawn in Turkey, and it's one where the machines are taking the reins. We talk about what future expectations would be like. However, Let's take a look behind the scenes at this renowned factory birthing the very first generations of humanoid robots in Turkey. For a project that is bound to completely shape the labor sector of the country, it was officially announced in 2017 by Akinsoft during a high-profile event that had tech enthusiasts from far and wide in attendance. According to the founder, the sole aim of Akin Robotics was to develop advanced humanoid robots which are able to perform complex tasks in industries, schools, health, and so much more. Looking at things inside, they did more than achieve their goals. When we talk about the parties involved in the $10 billion investment of the factory, the funds required to start didn't come from one source. Apparently the government is involved, private firms who find the project promising are involved, and still research institutions are providing research facilities to help facilitate the process. Looks pretty grand, right? Wait till you hear all that's going on inside the factory. Taking a look inside, Akin Robotics, First off, you should know that the Aiken Robotics factory responsible for the humanoid robots production is located in the central Anatolian province of Konya. As a matter of fact, the company comprises 120 robots, which are built for several different sectors across the labor sphere. This includes robots for entertainment, food and beverage, healthcare, advertising and info broadcasting. How are they able to perform these tasks? Well. The robots are equipped with sophisticated artificial intelligence systems that make it possible for them to understand and respond to human emotions, read the environment, and carry out tasks precisely. 
Just to tell you how insane these innovations are, they are capable of not only detecting sounds, but can perceiving smells. Furthermore, there's also their facial recognition software that allows them to recognize and keep track of all the people they come across. Think of them as newly born babies, but ones with bolts, circuits, and screws. The robots, from the day they go live, start to process data all around them, making them not only environmentally oriented, but aware of their surroundings. Take, for instance, the entertainment robots. In the realm of entertainment, they provide a futuristic touch that we've never seen before. They do things like perform interactive shows, dance, and even engage audiences with actual responses. In the food and beverage industry, just like Kade Merum Cafe, the robots take orders and serve food and drinks. Even though they can't whip up the best lasagna or Chinese ramen, they are capable of making very basic dishes. So you can say, in as much as the experience might be new and novel, our best chefs can never be replaced by these robots. Then of course, there is the healthcare and advertising of humanoid robots. In healthcare, the robots assist in patient care by observing vital signs and giving meds. And some even engage in conversations to help patients get their minds off their predicament. On the other hand, akin robots built solely for advertising and information broadcasting are employed as interactive kiosks and billboards. These robots can engage with customers, answer queries, and provide information in an engaging manner, making them effective tools for marketing and public relations. Overall, you can say what makes them stand out is the fact that they can attract attention and interact in different ways with people. Let's not even forget the design of the robots. Do you know how the humanoid robots from the Terminator series look? Well, the humanoid robots from Aiken Robots just might have mimicked the appearance without a skin, of course. They possess a sleek ergonomic design that appears as if they came straight out of a sci-fi movie. This adds up to the likely reason they will be in high demand in the market. So, you see, in just a matter of a decade, it's already a whole new world in Turkey. To tell you how fast things are moving in Akin Robotics, when the chairman of the board of directors was asked about the internal matters of the factory, he said that they have been receiving positive feedback from several sectors all across the country. He did say it might take a little more convincing to fully implement a lifestyle of humanoid robots in the country, but they are on the verge of being at the forefront of something great and spectacular. Currently, the company seems to be removing a couple of the restrictions that the robots have, and they are sending them to various other factories to perform specific tasks. This tells only one thing. We have yet to see the full potential of the factory. While we look deep into the future, picturing a life with humanoid robots all across Turkey, you might start to wonder what exactly are the implications of a humanoid robot-oriented world and what Turkey is going to be like in the next couple of years to come. Upon analyzing the situation, the revelation might come as a shock to you. So sit tight and catch a breather. The future of a humanoid robot-oriented Turkey. No doubt, since the advent of time, we humans have been caught up with the idea of looking for ways to make life easy. We've long thrived with basic machines and tools, and now, here we are at the very precipice of it all, the humanoid robotic era. For Turkey, the introduction of these sophisticated robots promises efficiency, high productivity, and lower costs of production in all sectors of the economy. As a matter of fact, in comparison to the various countries that have long adopted these humanoid robots in workplaces, the productivity rate of each and every factory willing to adopt humanoid robots is bound to increase by at least 250%, which is quite a great accomplishment. However, we might be looking at the smaller picture. We only have a perfect view of the bigger picture when we consider what's going to happen to the workers who are being displaced by these robots. Take China, for instance. In a Chinese industrial enterprise in the city of Dongguan of Guangdong province in southern China, out of 650 people working in the company, 590 people were sacked, only to be replaced by machines. This means that probably 300 people are unemployed, and then the remaining 290 had to look for another source of living. The ones left behind aren't even allowed to perform their usual tasks, as they only tend to the maintenance of the machines. You can say the same goes for a couple of other factories in the southern parts of the country. The trend continues to intensify, encroaching on other parts of China and other nations, which have adopted robots. With workers already protesting in the streets of China, it gives Turkey a bit of a picture of what awaits them if proper measures aren't put in place to work with these robots. We would like to hear your thoughts on this innovative leap happening in Turkey, which is still a welcoming development. Share your thoughts in the comments section.
And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye.